I can say that life is my greatest challenge and has also been a good success so far. Throughout it all, I always knew that I loved to help people. At the age of seven, I was an honor student who loved being in school. When I was out of school, it was another story. I was getting abused and molested for that long period of time. At the age of 13, I moved and went to high school. After high school, I would go spend time with my three closest cousins. They were like brothers to me. I would sleep over, chill, laugh, until summer came, it was my living nightmare. Two of my closest cousins got killed in front of their house to a drive-by. I really felt empty. Age of 14, I joined the gang because of the rage, sorrowness, and loneliness I was feeling. I ended up dropping out of high school in my senior year. I've gone through it a lot of tough times. I've been stabbed about three times and one of those stab wounds I ended up dying for five minutes and coming back to life realizing that I woke up to a hospital bed. I really spent it about a year trying to walk, eat right, and trying to talk correctly. So I managed to live through a surviving crisis and I was successful. With the help of UTech and me enjoying to help other people, I left the gang. From there I worked my way from getting involved around the center to going and taking the lead on political events. I'm back in school which I'm pursuing on graduating with a high school diploma by the end of January. I'm involved in three coalitions, two of them is statewide which is the Teens in the Way and the Governor's Statewide Youth Advisory Council. And the other one is Community which is a Youth Violence Prevention Coalition from Lowell. I am now a youth peer leader to my community and community of Massachusetts. Although I have not made the best choices, everything I did, I did it with intentions of helping people.